All right, so the economy, the stock market, job creation, you're being lied to every single day by this administration. Joe, Joe Biden is lying to you. I, shocker, I know. But today, while he, you know, Donald Trump is tied up in court for, I don't know, the next like, four to six weeks, he's taking his 747, Air Force One, which burns 5,000 pounds of jet fuel per hour, a whopping 300 miles up to Scranton, Pennsylvania, to give a speech about how bad Trump's policies might be should he be reelected. That... That's the whole campaign. This speech today was particularly on taxes. But before he got to that, he spent a few minutes not mentioning a thing about any accomplishments he has because he doesn't have any, only making fun of Donald Trump. I mean, don't worry if you missed today, though. It's one of a three-part series that he's doing where he argues that Trump wants to cut corporate taxes. Just a few months ago at a closed-door event in Mar-a-Lago, he told his millionaire and billionaire donors the following. This is a quote. You're rich as hell and we're going to give you tax cuts, end of quote. Trump wants to renew another round of billionaire tax breaks and corporate giveaways. Um, yeah, he does, because billionaires invest their money in corporations, and that grows the economy. I, I don't see what the problem here is. I know you guys get this at home, but for you mangy liberals and the media people watching this trying to catch me up on some BS headline, corporations produce jobs, like actual real jobs, the ones that you know pay salaries and mortgages and tuitions and car payments. And when they have extra money laying around, they don't bury it under the mattress. They use that money to make more money. That's why they're rich in the first place, also known as expansion. I know these are big words and they're hard for communists, but since colleges really probably don't teach business class apparently anymore, expansion means jobs. So if you tax a corporation or a billionaire less, the government takes less of their hard-earned money. That money will then go into the economy. I, I know a lot of you are sitting at home thinking like, yeah, like who, who doesn't know this? Well, apparently half the country. I know, this is crazy, but according to the failing New York Times, it was a Siena poll, 52% of America got it right. They agreed that the economy was poor. You know what? Good job, guys. You paid attention. But 27% said it was fair, 17% said it was good, and 4% said it was excellent. First off, find out whatever the hell the 4% are smoking. Make that super illegal. Revoke any diplomas from the other 17% and have a very serious conversation with the 27%. I... I just don't know what metric they could possibly be using to reach these conclusions. Additionally, a quarter of the country thinks that we're somehow on the right track by the same poll. Again, what metric? Honestly, who are you interviewing? I don't have to rattle off the statistics because most of you watching are completely rational people who understand that this economy is a dumpster fire. But somewhere in downtown Seattle, the New York Times found enough people with needles in their arm who actually think this economy is good. And then they probably believe this because 90% of the people in the media are liberal sycophants that just regurgitate whatever the left or the White House hands down to them. Biden also talked about how Trump wants to repeal the Affordable Care Act. Trump says his MAGA friends want to, quote, terminate, I love his terminology, terminate the Affordable Care Act. That would mean over 100 million Americans with pre-existing conditions who now have health care because the Affordable Care Act would lose their coverage. 100 million. Mm, yeah, and they're paying two, three times as much. For, I mean, Obamacare didn't give us better care, nor did it make it more affordable. So, yeah, another one that just sounds great to me. I, I don't know if he's trying to make a campaign commercial for Donald Trump or what. He touted his usual, ah, oh, the rich got to pay their fair share. Folks, does anybody really think the present tax code is fair? Raise your hand if you think it's fair. I'm not joking. Well, neither do I. I'm a capitalist. If you want to, if you're able to go out and make a million bucks, fine. That's okay. But just make sure you pay your fair share in taxes. Ugh, this is my problem with this. For, no one has ever been able to explain to me what a fair share is. Is it 10%? Is it 90%? Oh, I don't know. Is it 23%? I know that's a weird number. But it is, in fact, the rate that Joe Biden paid on his nearly $630,000 of income last year. Seems a bit low for a guy who calls the 400000 mark the wealthy class. I mean, what about his fair share? Keep in mind, his son is in court right now for failing to pay taxes. And I, I just want to clear this up. If you were to confiscate right now, as of today, the wealth from 100% of the people in the Forbes 400 list, it wouldn't even run the country for an entire year. At which point, by the way, if you did that, you'd have nothing left to tax.